Hi, this is Shadi. Today we'll be discussing foot sweeps, having shoes while you're grappling, and having no shoes while you're grappling. It is something indeed interesting. Both have pluses and minuses, kind of like when you are grappling left versus right. People want to be on the inside while the others want to be uh, above. Both have advantages and disadvantages and you're gonna see that it can change a lot about the expression of a particular technique in judo without the shoes obviously you can cup uh, and have a more of a catching uh, foot rather than a foot that can blow through now to understand this we are gonna have to look at this uh, explanation done for the outer reap you see that brushing motion it when you're not wearing shoes you have more flexibility in the ankle and also it's more about catching and really uh, waiting for that timing or really having that finesse on the extremity so when it comes to sambo uh, obviously i asked the forum i did not just go in and decided to do this video so they say it's not exactly like wrestling shoes so you can have some type of flexibility in the ankle but not exactly but mostly a lot of them say they do it with the blade of the foot meaning a foot in a neutral position kind of like a football player shooting uh, the ball so here you see and then of course with a foot in a somewhat neutral position you're gonna have more involvement with the soleus muscle which is the muscle that's underneath the calf because your foot is straight and you're like blowing through them rather than having that little catch with the spoon shape uh, foot. Not saying in Sambo you can't do that, but it's far less. But the, the advantages is actually the pushing and the entanglement, and we'll see that later on. So let's take a look at the Sambo foot, how it might look based on this no-gi uh, demonstration by Ishii on Judo Fanatics. So, he does a few things that uh, actually work really well uh, when it comes to wearing shoes. So his foot, notice it's more like a like a reaping a, uh, a tool, kind of like the Grim Reaper, and he just really blows through the leg and using his soleus muscle as well as the blade of the inside of the foot. And he talks about hitting high on the a little bit on the muscle the soft tissue because it's obviously less painful especially when you're doing this particular uh, style of foot sweep now let's compare it to a classical Japanese way of doing it and it's really about catching rather than going in and blowing through I'm not saying you can do it or judokas don't do it they absolutely do but we're talking about the opposite side of the spectrum so here you see it's really about just that catch both extremities of the body meeting and then you just give it a little bit of movement look if you see here just catching and really the ankle bone and the achilles tendon and then you sweep across you kind of like creating a cross step with your foot uh, and this is what you get it's really about that finesse while here for example look you can easily engage your soleus muscles the inside the blade of the foot and of course the shoes now not saying it's wrong or anything i'm just saying here it, it it exerts more power it's more force it can come more of a blow rather than a um a little catch at the right time but again when it comes to the achilles tendon and reaps and pushing shoes are going to be far more comfortable and at the same time uh, you can also do far more entanglements now let's see fabio on judo fanatics explaining it he says one centimeter above the ground here you see the the uh, spoon shape or and also not too high like ishi on the muscle but here one centimeter and it's all about really catching it making them do that one step that you need and that's where you catch it so here he explains if you're going through it tough 
but he explains more of that approach where you don't need any energy at all one centimeter above the ground so let's take a look at it he really just catches that ankle he's just it's like fishing or shooting uh, a flying target with uh, with an arrow here is another example now here catches somewhat both legs look at the ankle just lightly catches it at the right time it's really about that finesse and brushing the mat going through the foot nothing more it, i know the heavyweights tend to blow through the legs but you really don't need to here you see look he caught him where both legs are off the ground and just collected the ankle that's it that's it and of course with the spoon shape you can really do that uh Sambo shoes, I'm not sure how soft they are compared to wrestling shoes. I know wrestling shoes can be more uh, hard, but here you see when it comes to sweeping, uh, all of them on the forum and also uh, Sambo Fusion, Kulikov, he says, just like uh, in Mongolian wrestling, you just collect with your foot in a neutral position and you just blow through it. You can, of course, curl your ankle, but limited compared to someone who is barefoot but the plus of shoes in my opinion is really when you are pushing as you see the hisaguruma the yoko gake um, of course the tanya otoshi kicking the calf and most importantly entanglement like this one it really creates that lock at the end of the foot you have that little bit of shoe uh, offset uh, from your Achilles tendon and with the sole of your shoe they can get stuck together and you can have a very good minor outer reap or an entanglement like this one and uh, they really it becomes very hard to escape for them but when it comes to really brushing and catching that ankle as it is moving and way less finesse that curled spoon shape is perfect for it it can be done obviously with a straight foot but the straight foot the way it is and how you move it it can generate far more force so you probably have to pay attention less to timing as well as compared to something like Fabio or or uh, Odette or any of those who are great with this so these little nuances play a big role both uh, principles can apply in both cases but to a degree to nuanced degrees but when you go to both extremes this is what I'm talking about you can blow through legs with that shoe because you're not gonna get hurt uh, the soft tissue will not hit that ankle bone of your opponent and you feel pain if it's wrongly timed or also you can just aim a little bit higher uh, it's kind of like shooting the football but in judo when you catch that in my opinion there's no better feeling but of course with the shoes you also have the entanglement advantage so if you have anything to add please let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening